Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Avatar 3 The Warborn. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we kill the Cursed Bones. Last episode, we were right there, right there. So we got, we are exploring a new area, and we got ourselves into a little bit of trouble. I'm not really sure what this was supposed to be, if anybody gave us a quest for this. But if they did, they will have good news when we meet them. Um, and that was, I just... Kalida was. It, it, I ended the episode right as soon as I, I. All I did in between the last episode and this one was attack the cursed bones that were over there. And the cursed skeleton falls into little bits. The ground under your feet stops burning. The shade vanishes. The evil magic placed in this place has been dispelled. Another day's work for a hand of Avadon. But. But, of course, we still have to deal with these things. So I really was thinking that. I mean, I thought, I thought that it would continue being. Uh, stuff and all that, but apparently, apparently not. I mean, the battle. I, I even said last episode that, oh, I'm gonna see if I can kill, if, if anything happens when I kill all these guys or something to that extent. Oh, that was a miss. Mm. And that was a cleave, of course, because why not? Oh, can't. Not that. Mm. Oh, that works. That worked fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get out of here, because my, the, the, the floor is not burning anymore. The floor is no longer lava. Which is all always very very good. So this f corrupted hellhound has icy breath. Ooh, that was a critical for 186. That was pretty decent. It's 20 damage. The Drake does do a certain amount of good damage. All things considered. Okay, guys, we're good. Nobody died. Everything is good. What do we have? We have a fire fang blade, and this is for. Is it good for you? No, no, it's not. Critical hit chance though. That's pretty good. It's. I don't know who wants this, but this this is an interesting weapon. It's definitely an interesting weapon. Uh, Vitality Recover, though. Eh. Well, it might be better for him. He's got another one over here, the Shadow Walker's Blade. That one already is pretty decent, and I probably should have it equipped. But uh, So this one is, is going to go into the, into the sack, the junk bag. Uh, and that was that. Drake is gone. We have bodies all over. We need to get all of them. Uh, what do we have? Robe and an amethyst that goes into our junk bag. And that was this dungeon. Ooh, there's also something else over here. An apprentice's rod or apprentice rod. The, it's some. It's weird because I don't think it should be apprentice rod. It should be apprentice's rob or... I, hmm. Because it, the, the rod is not an apprentice, is it? I, that's what it is. Right? I'm not crazy. I'm not, am I wrong? Am I wrong in that? Anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here and I'll see you at the exit of this place because it's quite a trip. And here we are at the exit of the place. Let's get out of here. And we're still trying to figure out if we need to kill the guys over there. It's... The name of the quest is Peace in Baraza. Not War in Baraza. We want to make love to them. Not War. Uh, well, Kalita might have a different take on the wall issue. But, oh, speaking of love. Who do we have here? Shadow Stalkers. Okay. Uh, he's back down. How exactly is he back, back up to that many... Action points. How the hell? I don't. I didn't change anything for him. Oh, it might be the shield. No, I don't know. Anyway, um, let's continue. Let's see. So I'm gonna bring you up there since you have that many. I'm gonna try to shadow step you back here, and those guys resist their stun, which is not great. And now he's ensnared, which is not a problem. Uh, I'm gonna bring you over there. I'm gonna attack you with that, and that way I can berate at them, or berate them, and I'm gonna fall back with you so you're not gonna be attacked again. Attack you with that. Okay, that's good. I don't think I'll even need the, uh, uh I don't think I'll even need the, um, the followers. Let's go with the Cone of Ice over here. That is gonna be kill. Yeah, it is. It was a big, oh, come on, you got, oh, we have altered wolves. Okay, uh, uh, let's go with the blade sweep right there. Okay, sounds good. And then you call Drake. Right there. And then you fall back a little bit, although that's not the best position to be in, but it's okay. And now I can do this. And they all take a bunch of damage. That guy's gonna die for sure. He's got corruption, so he's definitely gonna die. Oh, we can go through those. That's fantastic. So he dies. No, no, it's actually not as great at positioning. Okay, the guy's down. Those guys will maybe die. Yep. Ooh, that was a parry. Oh, they... They spawned, they just spawned. The game didn't tell me anything, though. The game didn't tell me about them. So let's see if I can kill this guy with some sort of haste. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Mm, let me see if I can go around. Try to position myself a little bit better. Because those guys will come in and it's not gonna be... Mm, 
It might be good. It might be good, but not... Not... It's not completely obvious. Okay, so you're gonna try to do that. Kalita's gonna... Okay, the guy's gonna be engaged, so that's not gonna be a problem. And yeah. Leap. It's a good thing. Spine shield right there. That's gonna save our ass because Kalita's gonna do her thing. I'm also gonna do this thing over here. And hopefully Kalita will be the center of attention here. Let's get these guys nice and toasty. And that was uh, the thorn shield working. We got workers. That's not a problem. At least I don't think it is going to be a problem. Let's go with a stun over there. The stun worked fantastic. Let's get you uh, attack you that one. Okay, with a cleave. Very nice. It's it's rare that so it gets cleaves. It is really rare. Uh, okay, so now you move over there. You get this one. Uh, actually, I can move you up here and get this one then. So I can attack that guy as well. And one of them is going to die. Yes, indeed. That guy over there. And we can't attack with you. Let's do that. This is probably going to be the center of attention r right now. Not really. Not really. Okay. So, Kalita. With a cleave. I was actually banking on that. And I'm now now level 25. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. Mmm. Lovely. Lovely. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Come on. Kill it. Die. Stop with the stupid war curses. No. No. Forget it. I misclicked. Murder. 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 Thank you. Okay, let's level up then. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go with the intelligence. I am probably gonna focus on efficiency, which is gonna bring this up to level 7. Which is gonna add 5% per level chance that each combat turn uh, of uh, sanctifying the ground nearby. Eh, it's not that great. Uh, summon pests appear with pests. <laughs> summon pets appear with haste. They are gonna get that. Okay, let's do that right there. Uh, and over here we have also increases effectiveness of all blessings and curses. That's not really that great, I don't think. Uh, and that one doesn't really matter. So I think we're done down here. This one would be nice to have, but I don't think it's worth all the points that you would need to put into those things. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Servant Blessing. What is that for? Summons the power of the nature to heal and haste your pet. Not really. Healing Chant. Let's go with that. Let's try and focus our healing chant. Uh, after all, we're the party healer, so yeah, it makes sense. We got animal skin over here. That was a proper fight. Where are you going, Drake? Come back. That was a proper fight. I like that. I like that. And also, also it was uh, multi-layered as well. Okay, take those. We're gonna get a nest back here. A little bit of skin, a little bit of shield. Ooh, a lightning javelin. What the hell is that? Uh, well, it's better than mine, so I suppose I will use it. Let's put it in the bag, nope, control, yep, over here we have a dagger that's not worth anything, and the rest is crap, we don't really have anything else, okay, let's go, just a bunch of blood that we leave behind, the blood disappears, look at that, it, it does, doesn't it, it's gotta, look at that, it's gotta, is it going away, is the rain washing away the blood, or is it just random, I don't know, can't really tell, just a, yeah, can't really tell, okay, uh, so where are we going, I want to go this way. That that might be the way back, though. Let's go up here. We only found one dead end so far, so I uh, maybe. Can we be optimistic about the fact that, that maybe there's not going to be a whole lot of dead ends? Okay, that's an exit right there. Okay, and down through here we have another passageway this way. Looks pretty. I, I like the I like the, the the mixture of colors in the trees. Really do. Uh, okay, so you're going to get that over there. The stick doesn't really matter. We got to... Oh. This this place looks cool. looks very cool. I was gonna say awesome, and then I went with awesome. That's yeah. It's, it it looks awesome. It really does. It, it really it, it looks fantastic. Man, uh, we got fruit. Uh, we got uh, some blocks. Not really. What is that? Where the hell are we? This is not even marked on the map. Huh? It's just an abandoned place, huh? Okay, I can deal with that. Oh no, it's not. Cursed basilisk. This ruin has been occupied by a huge lizard. When you ro round the corner, it turns to face you. When its eyes fall on you, you instantly start to feel dizzy. In the shadows behind it, you see several humans. They sway mindlessly back and forth. As your eyes adjust, you realize that they are dead. The lizard's magic is animating them. Okay, uh, so the idea is to cure... Is to cure. Is to kill. <laughs> Let's not cure. Although, uh, well, we can't. But uh, the idea is to kill... The cursed lizard as soon as possible. It doesn't seem to have that much health, though. You keep hacking at the animated bodies, but they don't stop moving. The basilisk's animating magic is too powerful. To destroy them, you will have to reduce them to tiny bits. Well, 
Let's see what happens there. That was a stun. Not a big deal. Khalid is going to be able to go forth and do some damage there. Although, I can move her over there. Do this over here. Uh, and, oh, actually, that didn't do damage. Interesting. And that does damage over there. And I blast the ground. And I'm now all manner of amazing. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, I think only magic damage might work against that thing. Okay, that was a stun resisted right there. And that is totally fine. That is totally okay as well. I missed that guy. I'm gonna do... Mm, I'm gonna do a jump on that guy. I need to kill him anyway. And she's gonna take a little bit of corroding damage, but who cares? We should be okay. Uh, I'm also gonna go with Blessing of Thorns. Even though I'm not sure. I'm sure... Uh, maybe, maybe when I kill the Basilisk, they're all gonna fall to pieces. Okay. And there we go. War chant. Oh, that was a... Mm, he's a zombie warrior, but it's still... That's no, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so kill that with a critical. You deal the Basilisk a mortal blow. He collapses. The humans it captured fall motionless at last. Long war in the barrage of wood enabled a lot of horrors to hide here. Many uh, making this region safe will take a lot of work. Oh, that's our plan? No, it's not. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so let's see. We got animal skin, and we got a few other things. We also have a nest. Uh, let's take uh, those things. What is that? Ruined steel mesh. It's interesting. It's not good enough. It looks cool, though. It looks really cool, but it's not good enough in comparison to what we have so far. So I'm just gonna stick with what I have and what I know and what I love. Is there any passage or something? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, it wasn't a very loving voice that I just said that in, though, so I'm not really sure what goes in my head. Uh, nobody ever is. I certainly not. Okay. Looks like a dead end sort of thing, because we can't go over there unless this opens a secret passage. It does not. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Was that meant for... Am I just keeping these because of reasons? I think so. How do I get it down there, though? Okay, let's go through here. Dead end? Yes, it is. Okay, so this looks like a place that we're gonna need to come back to later. Not a big deal. Not a big deal for the moment anyway, so let's go through here. Circle back around, make sure there's nothing here waiting for us that wouldn't be. And then through here would lead us back that way. I'm not gonna go there right now. I'm gonna go here first, because I'm... I'm suspicious that this might be a dead end. Either that or it loops back around anyway. So I'm... Oh, hi! S stick to the rope. Who are you? A small patrol of packed soldiers is watching this section of the road. This in itself is a surprising improvement. A few years ago, the army wouldn't enter the Barraza Woods without a large force. Things must be calmer now. The patrol is led by a lone war watcher. She walks up to greet you. She's from the the Kavai and she looks a little suspicious. Hello, warrior. I I'm Watcher Samra. Uh, not often we see travelers on this road, especially one so well armed as as you. Mind if I ask who you are? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a mercenary for the pact. Samurai nods. Yeah, we'll have the look. Clearly not a fate la uh, farlander. Uh, you can you can keep going. Just don't fight for the Barraza Woods. Uh, that little war is over. This is a free road now. Just have a warning for you. Uh, what what's the warning? Well, there's some old, ugly magic in these woods. Some creatures hunt the road. Cursed beasts, warped by magic. Travel should be safe. They stay away from us. You might not be so safe. Be careful. Move fast. That's all. Okay, can I ask you some questions? Watcher Samra and her warriors are willing to spend some time speaking with you, though they are constantly watching the woods for movement. The Barraza Woods are not entirely safe territory yet. Uh, tell me about this road. Ah, this is one of three roads through the Barraza Woods. Very dangerous. When the Kellum and Oaklandon were still fighting over this forest, now now that little war is now that little war is ending. Yeah, so that's just messed up. So yeah, it was very dangerous when the Kellum and Oaklandon were fighting. Uh that's why I I was sent here, she says. Have our council declare this road a free road. We're keeping it that way. Okay, tell me more about the conflict. Ah, it was, a st it was stupid. Calendariel and Oaklanda each decided a few centuries ago that this forest belonged to them. They fought over it, been fighting one way or another ever since. Then the Age of Chaos started and they finally realized the Pact has, well, has real enemies. We can't afford their dumb squabbles anymore. How long have you served here? Uh, just a year. Just a year, yeah. Was brought up from the Kava. We uh, the, of the Kava believe in laws, not feuds or and grudges. That's why they sent me. Be a good example. I, uh... I'll remind Kalem Dariel and Oaklanda what true duty looks like. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the the, the the compliment, I guess. Um, 
Maybe I can help you with the cursed monsters. This pleases Semra greatly. Huh, I thought you looked like a blade for hire. Glad to hear it. Yeah, there are three mad beasts in these woods. Cursed, probably hit with some dark Kellum magic early in the war. Kill them, you'd be doing the pact of real service. Might even be payment in it for you. Oh, really? Is there a bounty? Yes, I've been authorized to pay bounties. One bounty if you kill one beast, a second if you kill all three. Okay, uh, how, how can I find these monsters? They lurk in the paths off the main road. They move around fast, so they are hard to find. Look for blood and piles of bones. That's a good tip. The cursed beasts, they are, they're messy eaters. Oh, <laughs> okay, who made these monsters? Eh, some of the people fighting over these woods got a little crazy. Used all sorts of brutal techniques. Illegal magic. Strange what greed for land can make a person do. Yeah, yep, uh, so I killed one of the cursed monsters. You tell Watcher Senra the tale. She, uh, the soldier listens with fascination. You're far more of a warrior than we thought. Than we thought. Pretty impressive, I'm happy to admit. We found a lot of good salvage in these woods. Here's some of it. And she gives you a leather belt. It's sturdy and worn. I don't know, she says. Doesn't look like much. Try it on. It's better than it looks. Really? No, okay. Um, so, I like some information. Watch the sound nods. She's happy to help. Ask away! Sending travelers in the right direction is a lot of my job. Any settlements around here? Well, just one within a day's march. It's a new wood home. She points to the southeast. It's small, and we keep it safe. As long as you stay there or on the main road, you won't have problems. Any Kellum warriors hiding around here? The guards all look at each other. We stick to the road, traveler. That's our orders. We don't roam off of it. Not even to the old ruined keep. She nods towards the southwest. We stay away from there. Not safe. Yeah, I'm looking for a missing Kellum. Name is Griffin? The soldiers get very quiet. Then watch the sound room laughs. Uh, that's an ugly name to throw around. What was the name of the Kellum's greatest traitor? Duke Griffin. If he's around here, I hope I don't learn about it. He'd have us killed in a second. Really? You really f fear him that much? Okay. Uh, then I'll see you, see you later. Slater? Slater. Uh, yeah, we need to kill all these monsters. Okay, so I, I'm thinking... Yeah, that one was definitely one. The Cursed Beasts, that's definitely one of them. There's another one up there. We killed it already. That was the... Mm, I mean, we were there, so that... What, what? We killed it already, right? And that's the other one. Hmm. I thought I had killed just one, but apparently we had more. And this is the building that we were just in. Fantastic. Let's go on in and uh, see what happens. See what we have over here. There's nobody around. There's some clay bricks around, but nothing really too extraordinary. Over here we got chisels, just tools all over the place. Looks like an ordinary sort of, uh, I don't know, carpentry sort of thing. What do I know? And up here we have, uh, forge maybe? I don't know. I can't, I can't really tell. We have, that looks like a uh, oven sort of normal thing. Can't go up there. Man, this, oh, okay. Light. Let it be light. Uh, take that coal, a bag of coal right there. Save the game as well, because I'm not really trusting of what is going to happen. Oh. What? Huh. The jar contains nothing but a scattering of dust and gravel. This is a puzzle. Over here we have bones and trash. And over here we have trash and trash. So I suppose over here we'd need bones and bones? Or maybe we need to remove the other ones. Let's see if I can get some bones and bones. I should be able to get some over here. Maybe not, actually. Hmm. Checking these things. There's trash. And, okay. So let's remove all of this stuff from over here. And maybe that's gonna do the trick. Nope. It's for a quest later on, I'm sure. Uh, so let's leave. I don't really have a reason to be here anyway. I was just trying to explore. I can't really figure that out. I... yeah. I mean, if I could interact with that, maybe I could put items in there, but... Th that was actually my first thought, is that we maybe need to put some, um, some items in there. And this is probably gonna lead to the exit. The west, the west exit, I think. So, I think... Mm, yeah, the west exit in there. I was trying to get the coordinates. That's north up there. So, yeah, over here you get south right there, and that's west. You see it written up there. Even though it's uh, semi-obscured by the name, the word, huge word, roster. Kind of redundant, really. Something we 
as a, as a medium, the video games kind of uh, went away from the basically descriptive iconography in the games. It's more cryptic, cryptic, and uh, iconographic. Really, is more about icons than than it is about uh, just writing inventory, roster, map. You don't really need to point that out. I mean, it's good for the first time around, but a simple tooltip will will work for that. Uh, overall, though, I can I can't really say bad things about the UI. It works as well as it should, really. It works better than most, actually. <laughs> or no, better than most. Better than some. Let's go with that one. Yeah, better than some. Ooh. This tunnel is cool, peaceful, and quiet. You spot faint tracks in the mold and uh, dirt on the floor. It's in some travel recently, but not a lot. You can tell what sort of creature might be lurking ahead. Then you hear scraping and clicking. You've fought enough to, of the undead to recognize the sound. Bones scraping against the stone and each other. Wherever you're going, this is the back entrance, and it's defended. Okay, let's go on in then. I don't really see any reason to step away. We have skeleton warriors, skeletal warriors, and we also have a titan zombie. Really? It's the first time we see one of those things. It's just a reskin titan, but still, it's the first time. Okay, I'm gonna send Botan in, and I'm gonna do a little bit of caustic pottery. Let's go with that one. Actually, I probably should focus on these guys down here, because they're pretty nasty. Or that guy should probably be... Ooh! Did I miss that guy? What? How? Hmm. How did he not take any damage? That's really weird. Uh, I'm gonna have Kalita attack that guy. And then I'm gonna have her do the Berserker Lash. And uh, basically they all get stunned. That's pretty good. I'm gonna get uh, the Salamander. Because I'm then going to use some of my abilities, and now you can step away. That's that's half the reason why I did... Oh, actually, that's not a very good idea. Uh, but that's half the reason why I used the Berserker Lash. Let's get you over there. And then from here, I can hopefully get... Yeah, I can get that guy. Can I get... No, not in good position. Uh, well, I can. Three guys. And he got a critical. Man, he's really not... <laughs> he's really not happy with this whole wall situation. I wouldn't be either. Uh, let's get that one. Okay, he's still not down, and they're attacking an ensnaring bottom, and that was a cleave, even though I'm not really sure how that works, but it does. That's a challenge for everybody, and then I move back a little bit, and then do this to you, which is probably overkill, but it's not. Turns out that it is not. Uh, then I can do this, and hopefully just, if I do this, I'm gonna hurt more, I'm, I'm gonna need to do this. Sorry, actually, I, can I attack that guy? No, cannot. I'm gonna need to do this. Oh, it wasn't ideal. Oh, it was, actually. I hit that guy. Okay, uh, and then you can't attack. You're just gonna attack that guy. He's got hasted. So there we go. A little bit more damage. Man, these guys. These guys. Okay, that's fine. And then you can't do much. I'm just gonna kill that guy with a critical for 72. They do have a lot of, uh, a lot of resistance, all things considered. Uh, and then I can't do much from here. I'm gonna try and kill you. There we go. That worked. Uh, you can go again? What happened there? Did you get haste? Or is that just because... What? Let's get out of here. There it is. Only one of them got stunned, though. It's not great. Oh, come on. That's really not great. I hate that. I hate that. Because he basically wastes your, your turn if you step away from an enemy that's in currently engaged with you. So let's see if I can kill that guy because that guy just attacked. So I'm going to try to kill you now. And that's that. So this was the t the Titan zombie. I might have been another. It might have been another um, another one of the enemies, the big ones that are scary and apparently the hands of Avedon are afraid of. But this is the back back entrance to somewhere. Could be could be the back entrance to where the uh, sort of Tawanites are we in the Tawan. I think we are. Well, we're gonna have another battle. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. Um. Botan, can you... This is actually a good place. They're all stuck together over there. I'm gonna be able to do this. Ah, kinda wanted to do that, but might as well do this. And that guy's probably not gonna go around, and if he does, that's always a net win right there. Bring you over here. Do a little bit of damage, see how far that reaches. It reaches over there. Pretty good stuff. And now Sulik is now under attack, which is not great because it doesn't have that too much armor anyway. It is ensnared, which is not a problem because I can step back at any time. And actually, ooh, earthquake. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna. Ooh, there's two of them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's 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 the that's 
that's that's that's that's Let's see if I can kill you, sir. With a critical, and now that's the Berserker Lash, see if I can bring them away. This is actually a fantastic place to be in, but it's just, I'm ensnared. Somehow, I'm ensnared. That's not fair. That's not fair. Uh, okay, um, I got this to shoot that guy, okay? And then you can step away over here and do the Cone of Ice. Please roll a good one. It's it's the RNG, really. It, I mean, it's 70, 70 to 30 to 310, so... Ah, that wasn't that great. I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully kill this guy. There was no need, actually, because he would, he would have come back. Okay. Oh, no, actually, that wasn't that bad. That was not that bad. Do that one, and now you're healing. That's fantastic. A fully leveled up shaman at last. And blessing the ground as well. It's, it's just fantastic. Blessing of Thorn is right there. Uh, and that's that. Nope. That's now use your time, sir. Let's get you... Some damage over there. That guy apparently is undecided about what he should do. I would be as well. I mean, fighting a full force of four creatures. Although they... Mm. Yeah, it's it's going well. I think it should be totally, totally okay. Not a problem. Ooh, nice. Double kill. That was really good. Okay, so you take that. And then that's button stern. I'm going to do some dark bolting. And that's a kill. And then you, sir, can't go with that one, so we're gonna need some support there for the Fire Lizard. Should be totally okay. Kalita can go ahead and just try to stun the big guy. And he doesn't even resist that. He just falls over and <laughs> dies like a Protoss. Actually, sounds a little bit like a... It does sound like a Protoss. Uh, like the, the, the Dragoons when they die. A little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, what do we have over here? Chainmail. There's nothing like that. Nothing interesting anyway. And a little bit of a wooden shield. Eh, not really much. Not really much. Bronze helm. Leather jerk. Ooh. Oh, scroll of lightning. Freezing bolts. I'm really looking more for the group heals. Although we don't need them anymore. Kind of don't anymore. Uh, freezing bolts. Take that. Elixir of health. She's going to take that. And I think we're fine. Do we have anything else? We do have a couple of armor stands over there. Let me save the game before I open these doors. Because they leave. I don't know where they leave. Well, that one might leave outside. Yeah, lead, lead, not leave. Lead outside. Ooh, that needs to be picked? Eh, sure, it gives us experience, right? I think so. One experience. Okay, screw that. Ain't nobody got time for, for losing a lock picks. They're pretty expensive. And we get more experience anyway from, from things. Another elixir of, of health right there. And, oh, also the end of the episode because we're running out of time. So let's just see. Let's just see where this leads. Oh. There's a gate. Cool stuff. We're actually pretty close to the Cursed Beasts. So that's something I'm looking forward to for the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Avadon 3 The Warborn. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.